Hello YouTube, it's Aaron Mike from Team Endgame here, bringing you a Neo Nectar Musketeer deck breakdown. Starting off with the triggers as per usual, 4 heal, 8 crit, 4 draw. And my starter is Broccolini Musketeer Kira. Brocco oh my god. It's a I never actually asked and the name it, of it. It's a Broccoli Musketeer. In terms of trigger, well what I could use for alternate triggers is basically just the stands. I feel the, the way the deck works, you need to kind of focus on the crits because it's a lot more pressure and you're more likely to get them, but I'll get into that in a moment. The only alternative starter I see is the Shield Seed Squire, because it's a 5k Pioneer, whereas Kira is only a 4k. Broccoli. But, yeah, Broccoli. But basically, the reason why I still use her is because, one, it's imperative that you find Cecilia as your ride, and two, She's a musketeer. Yeah, so you can just go, I'll get rid of it, and etc. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to that in a bit. Grade ones, we've got four perfect guard, standard again, Mike's favourite word. Um, four of the really? Water Lily Musketeer Roof, four Rebecca, and three of your 8k Corolla Dragon. Now, <laughs> basically, perfect guards, need them. Musketeer, Musketeer, it's an 8k. <laughs> The only other option I could possibly think of instead of Corolla is Tulip Musketeer Mina, which is your 6k damage adder. I don't like the 6k damage adders because you can't get rid of damn things. <laughs> you just got rid of it! You just dropped it! I didn't drop it! I don't know what you're talking about. Although, I'm an idiot and just thinking right now, I could play this, Cecilia it off, and it's free and stuff and it's a Musketeer. I could actually use it. Um, oh yeah, that was why I can't. Because the game I played with you, I couldn't hit his cross ride, so I need the 8k to go behind the vanguard at all times. Everything else doesn't matter because I've got options to get like 12k swingers there. Yeah, that was why. <laughs> I wouldn't face a decision for um, the cross ride. The other... I've, I couldn't hit you. Well, you were yeah. just guarding for 10 every turn and your hand was just getting bigger. Oh yeah, yours was huge, I don't know why. <laughs> I'll tell you why in a minute. The only other option is Lady of the Sunlight Forest, which is your discard one to yeah, rest to discard and draw. But I don't use it because it's not a musketeer. <laughs> Roof is your 10k swinger, so it gives you a bit more options in how you can offensively push and play. And Rebecca is one of the Kia cards. Kia cards? Key cards. <laughs> <laughs> um, when it's called to the Vanguard or Rearguard, you counterblast one to discard. No, what am I talking about? You're confusing me. What? Not the reason why you're on the AK. No. I don't care about that. We'll justify it with that as well. Ugh. Mike wants me to justify run the AK because of the damage adder on grade 2, it can hit 16. Woo woo woo. Yeah, it's better than <laughs> saying you run it for cross rides. Uh, it's not too much of an issue because I'll just intercept or send it off later. With Whatever. skills like Rebecca. Skills. When it's played to the Vanguard or Rearguard, you count plus one, retire any other musketeer on your field, look at the top four cards of your deck, and call a musketeer from that to the Rearguard. Basically, the way the deck works is you've got a grade one version of this, Rebecca, a grade two, Kaivan, and Cecilia also does it as your grade three Vanguard. The idea is that you retire one to cycle through and find a new musketeer, one that has better synergy with the columns or whatever's on the field. But it also fins your deck, so you want it to find triggers for starters. But second, you need to fuel the graveyard, so you have five musketeers in for Cecilia's secondary effect, which I'll get to again in a minute. But basically, if there was an 8k musketeer, I'd be happy days and run that instead. But I feel that it's still needed for the damage adder. Yeah! And for Cecilia as your vanguard, so you can hit 18s, because she's only a 10 vanguard. Great twos! All musketeers! Happy days! If you got Augusto, which is your 12k swinger, if you have a musketeer vanguard. Me Gusta. Kaivan, which is the same as Rebecca. When it's placed on the vanguard or rearguard, count boss one. Retire another musketeer, look at the top four, call another musketeer. I so, never saw you do that once. Oh wait, you kept doing it! <laughs> in the first game I did. <sighs> but I found out I was... I kind of worked out I was playing it wrong, but I'll get to that in Grave Freeze. And how, you're supposed to, how I think you're supposed to play the deck. But yeah, you look at the top four, fin your deck again, call one, preferably better synergy, so you can get cheap attacks off early, as I said before, and then fix your fields later on. 
And then Tulip Musketeer Almira, which is your damage adder, which Mike says I don't need the I, I, can't believe, I can't believe you had a Musketeer as your damage adder. Yeah, my grade one's a Musketeer as well. It's really good. It's ridiculous. So yeah, she's hit there to obviously do your damage adding. It's not 100% vital, but she's the only other Musketeer grade 2 I've got. <laughs> it helps me get Limbrick early if I want to do Cecilia's effect as a Musketeer to fuel for the effect, so it's not a problem. Other options are your 10k Swinger. It's not a Musketeer, so it can go away. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got Made in the Rainbow Wood, which I really want to use. Why well, that specific one? Because Glass I these Dragon's crap and <laughs> Made in the Rainbow Wood. <laughs> It's made in rainbow wood. <laughs> it's cat blush tool to draw a card. Woo! This is the other one. Oh, there's beads. And the grey freeze, which is basically what makes the deck. Uh, well, we'll start with Herman, which is the one I've got three of. He is basically your 12k swinger when boosted. He needs to be boosted to get this extra 2k. And Cecilia, which is your main vanguard, which is amazing. <laughs> I found... I just found a way to abuse her. Basically... I'll go over a normal effect first. The non-limit break part is you retire a Musketeer. No counterblast cost like the other ones. It's just a free retire. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Five. And the, and the, and the other ones are four. Yes, uh, Mike, I know. Well, I just, they might not know. I did say. Well, I, wasn't, I wasn't listening. <laughs> well, you never listen. So yeah, you retire one Musketeer, look at the top five cards of your deck, and call the Musketeer. So, already that's amazing because it's free, so you can just swap, switch out whatever you want. You can play a trigger and go, yeah, I'm going to switch out for a 12k swinger. Whoop. But what really makes her is the limit break effect. Limit break four, you counterblast one and pick five normal musketeer units, so it can't include triggers, from your drop zone, shuffle them into your deck, or no, sorry, put them to the bottom of your deck, <laughs> select two... White Lily Musketeer Cecilia, so two of herself, and call them to the rear guard, and then you shuffle your deck. So for Counterblast 1, sure you add more units into your deck, so you're less likely to hit triggers, but for Counterblast of 1, you are plussing two units to the field. In combination with her secondary skill, you retire one of the Cecilias you just got, look at the top five, and more, most of the time, especially with the cards you put back, you're more than likely to find a grade 2 or grade 1 to boost or get some shield onto the field without dropping your hand at all, which is what I find amazing about her. I, I footwork that out after the first game, and you can just um, abuse it and just keep your hand from drawing and drive checking. So again, once you've got the Cecilia's out, sure you've got two free units, they're only grade threes, but as I said, you retire it, look for a grade 2, and you preferably... Yeah, preferably get a grade 2, and you get some guards to the field. So, at the end of the day, you count passing one to get two free units, one of which is guard, and then you retire the next one the next turn, which is another thing I forgot to point out. Both of these effects you can use once per turn. <laughs> I should say that, because you can't go retire, cool, retire, cool, that'd be stupid. But, um, what I highly stress is that you need to use Kira for the simple fact that you need to ride Cecilia. If you ride Herman instead, you got to wait for Cecilia, hope to re-ride, but you're probably not going to be plussing yourself, plussing enough by then. You're probably going to lose quite a bit because they're both 10k, which is their downside. Very big downside. Because Basil can hit it. <laughs> yeah, you can. Bloody Basil. At what point do you think then? <laughs> well, this is just it. The first game, I was literally using the effects to go through my deck call it out, call out, call out, and just fin by like five different cards, so I'm hoping to get triggers more often, which is what I thought with how the deck was meant to be played. The way I see it is you're meant to get five Musketeers in your drop zone as quick as you can, so you can get to Limit Break, use Cecilia, get two free units, switch out for Guard, which is why the damage add is also in there, because it helps get you there. So you use that once or twice, and then din, 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 din. So with Kira, if you don't have Cecilia, you use the skill to look at the top five and hope for it. But if you have Cecilia in your hand, you can get rid of it with either Cecilia or Kaivon or Rebecca. Because it's a musketeer, you can retire it, look for another grade two or grade three and call out to the field. So you, I find that it's better to plus like that than thin your deck. But that's just me personally. I don't know how other people play it, but that's how I've worked out to play it. Because I find it's more useful to me to conserve my hand for guarding. And that was my musketeer deck breakdown. Thank you guys for watching. 
please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to this video and our channel. And please feel free to look at our Facebook page where we should be doing some more updates sooner or later. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.